Jason Sion. Thanks for meeting me uh, tonight at the Jacksonville International Airport. And thank you for asking, um, so answering some of my questions I have in regard to the refugees who are coming to Jacksonville. Um, first, would you mind um, telling us your name and what you do at World Relief? Yeah, my name is Travis Trias. I'm the church mobilizer. I work with networking churches in the city, uh, getting them in volunteer service and donations and uh, just kind of supporting what we do through their ministries. And uh, we have about 96 church partners in the city of Jacksonville. Great, thank you. Yeah. Sian, what about you? My name is Sian, and I am working as a caseworker, so just uh, helping them with the resettlement. Mm -hmm. Great, and you're from Eritrea? Eritrea, yes. Great, well thank you very much. And tonight we're here welcoming 16, 16 new refugees to um, yeah. Jackson, which is so exciting. Um, would you, would either of you meet, um, mind telling us exactly what role uh, World Relief will be playing in the um, working with the refugees? Yeah, so we're kind of the final step in everything. We're a resettlement agency. Uh, we work um, with the U.S. State Department, with IOM, with the UNHCR. Um, this is kind of the very last step in a refugee's long journey. Tonight, we are actually going to greet them as they come out um, of their flight and into their new uh, city, which is Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will take them tonight to their new home, uh, which is an apartment that's already been set up and uh, furnished for them. Uh, there's groceries waiting for them. There's a meal waiting for them. And um, more than likely, they're not going to have any idea what's going on. They're just going to know that they made it. There's probably a lot of worry uh, going on right now within the family. They don't know what's about to happen, what they're going to do. And it just it means a lot for them when they land to see smiling faces greeting them, saying welcome. Uh, Siona's here because she speaks the language. Uh, she uh, has walked in these shoes quite literally. She was a, a refugee herself. And um, so having her here, you know, is incredible. Great, great. And how long does it normally take for a refugee once they've received official status to from their um, wherever they are, the second or third country, to actually come to their um, their final country um, of yeah. settlement? Well, once they've once they've actually gotten word that they've been accepted, then security screenings can take 18 to 24 months. Okay. Uh, minimum. Minimum. Sometimes it can okay. take longer. Yeah. Okay. So then the refugees that we're all hearing about, the ten thousand coming to the United States, we wouldn't, we won't uh, expect It'll to be see a while. them for yeah. another. And if not longer than that. Uh, okay. Especially from the Middle East, uh, there's just a lot of security screenings. Uh, the UN has their, you know, screenings that they do, and then the State Department, you know, has yep. their own. Okay. So. Okay. And um, how many refugees does World Relief resettle each year? Average about 500 a year. Yeah, about 500. There's about 2,000 that come to Jacksonville annually. Um, on average, the U.S. has received between 60 and 70,000, yeah. I believe, over the yeah. past few years. Uh, we're advocating for more than that um, in light of the circumstances in Syria, which is mm -hmm. the worst uh, humanitarian crisis since World War II. So um, we're right in the middle of this right now, um, hoping that we can do a little bit more. But yeah, here in Jacksonville, we have about 500 on average per year. Great, okay. And now, so you're going to welcome them, you're going to take them to the new apartment. It's yeah. furnished with mm -hmm. furniture yeah. and donate all from donations, and there's food. Absolutely. And okay. And what else? What can the, um, the refugees expect um, to receive from the government for the next few months or so? I'll let you answer a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, um, before they get here, uh, they have orientation. They know, you know, what they're gonna. But it's um, when, uh, sometimes when they came here, the expectation will be different because uh, from state to state, the, the the assistant is different. It's different, yeah. okay. Uh, different. But sometimes they confuse because uh, they hear uh, we're gonna assist them, you know, with the rent or with everything. Um, it's more than three months, but three we, months. Yeah, okay. here is two, uh, three months. Okay. But a different city, different state is maybe eight months. They hear that, but they are, you know, confused first time. But uh, when they know, you know, everybody's getting that kind of assistance, they will be okay. okay. It, does, it does vary state to state. Um, okay. Here, yeah. like Sion just said, three months is, is our time with them. And then as far as benefits go, um, it's interesting to know refugees arrive in debt. Because the flight that they're taking right now 
they're gonna have to pay back. And that many people don't understand that that they are, they are yeah. actually have to pay a lot for of that complain, flight. complain, oh, we're taxpayer dollars. No, they pay every. They pay every, every penny back. back. Yeah. Uh, generally working three to four jobs. Sion, still, how many jobs do you work? <laughs> <laughs> I work two jobs. <laughs> two jobs. Yeah, now yes. <laughs> Many times I've heard three to four jobs yeah. for most refugees. And yeah. uh, there is Medicaid available for the first eight months. Eight months. For the for first singles. eight months. For singles. But for children, it will be going to 18, 18 years. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for okay. children, it will be longer. It will be longer. Yeah. Okay. And then, so you'll provide them with an apartment for three months. Mm -hmm. And so basically, they have three months to get to learn it English, a lot. get a yeah. job, or get networked, mm -hmm. get a job, and get an income right. so they can move on. And understand yeah. U.S. culture, too, which is, you know. And the bus routes and mm -hmm. how to get to the job. Yeah. And that's what this lady helps them do. Yeah. And that's also what volunteers help do. You know, um, we have a program called Friendship Partner Program, okay. which is where a church okay. will befriend these refugees for a minimum three months obviously we wanted to match with our resettlement time okay and then at the end of those three months um, you know we we prefer that they remain friends and um, I, I'm, I started as a volunteer about five years ago and I'm still friends and still keep in touch with my friendship partner so that's kind of ideally what we want from every volunteer long-term okay. friendship okay great and can my students can they how can they help with the new refugees coming over. Yeah, you can apply to become a volunteer. Um, it's done through uh, the web. You can go to our website, worldreliefjacksonville.org. Okay. And uh, go through the volunteer process. There's gonna be an application. There is gonna be a background check. You do have to be 18 years of age or older, I believe. Okay. Might even be 21 now. We've just really revamped our volunteer program. Um, there's also got to be an interview with our volunteer coordinator. Her name's Katie Sullivan. Katie, you're going to want to yeah. remember her name. Katie Sullivan. And um, she will then, you know, once all of that's done, it can take a little while. But the reason it takes a while is we want to make sure that we're vetting our volunteers because you are going to have access to these people's lives and you're going to be their first American friend that they have. Yeah. So, um, you know, we don't want volunteers to say, well, I want to try it for a few weeks. You know, the, this family is going to need you. So yeah. um, we're going to train you as well. You have to go through a training. Uh, we don't just throw you in there. We're going to give you an orientation, um, you know, uh, explain, you know, what to expect, um, answer a lot of questions that people are going to have, you know, what if they don't speak English, um, what do I do, you know, when I visit them, that kind of stuff. And we're going to okay. equip you with all that knowledge before we send great. you out. Oh, great. And what about, um, can we help with donations uh, in any way? Yes. They're coming. Um, Oh. oh, that was quick. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here a little early. Oh, they're here early. Oh, how exciting. Here they are. Oh, so there's 16 of them coming through. Oh, Abraham. <laughs> And here's the church volunteers who are here to support. They're checking in with all the names to make sure they're all here. Okay, Roxy. Roxy. 